All right, people, I'm going to mute, and we're going to start the game in a few seconds. All right, here we are, finally, after major technical difficulties, like always. That's how this works. We're getting ready to start our match. Okay, so here we are at the Comp MC uh, final game of the series before the playoffs, and we've got Chimicum in blue versus Lakeside A in red, and we've got a couple of Chimicum students observing because they're here, and I didn't want to kick them out, so they're going to watch the game uh, without being able to play in the game. So I'm going to start this match in 15. Seconds, so we can have the first match of the game. All right. Whew. So this is the sixth game in this Comp MC series, and um, I'm hoping that these teams do well. All right, so let's see. Lakeside A is red, and they have to go all the way over there and capture our green wool. Whereas Chimicum is blue, and they have to go all the way over to the other side and capture the purple wool. And I saw some fast bridging here. We've got a couple of Chimicum. It's Miles and Cheyenne off to a fast start, but I look over here, and I see Lakeside off to a fast start bridging too. They're coming in from this side. And we've got our defenders here. So we've got Donovan is number four, and Ethan's number ten. It looks like they are taking charge of defending our wool room. And Caleb, who's coming there, must be playing the middle, which means he better come over here and control the middle ground. All right, so it looks like our team has already entered the wool room. Yes, there they are. So they got off to a fast start, and here's Lakeside. Let's see if they uh, can keep our team from going all the way across. So if you're new or just joining us, uh, what has to happen is teams have to make it all the way to their side with their wool in order to win. So they have to come all the way back to a room over here right down there and if they place the purple wool from the other team they win that match best two out of three matches wins the game and right now Chimikov is off to a great lead by touching the other team's wool which means they grabbed it they've got a hold of it but now they have to get out of there and make it to their side with the wool now we learned from one of the games where we almost tied, or had a, a draw, that if you take the wool out of their wool room, and you run towards your home zone, uh, if you don't place wool, then it doesn't count that you even took it out. What you have to do is place wool along your way home, because if they kill you before you reach home, the team that placed their wool closest to their home base will win that match or that round. All right. So here we have, it looks like they are, ooh, somebody just fell off. That was one of our defenders fell off the world. Oh, look at that. So it looks like Lakeside is attacking and our defenders are defending. Will they get in and grab the wool? Oh, oh, there he goes, there he goes. Oh, we knocked our guy out, and he's in! The Lakeside player has gotten into our wool room. There he goes, and we have Heat X 17 has grabbed the Chimicum wool, and we've got two defenders there. Ooh, but there's another one. All right, this is where a lot of action's happening right now. Okay, oh man, so they've got two in our wool room. All right, these teams are pretty evenly matched right now. It's just a matter of who can take the wool to their base first. Uh, well, look, by the looks here, we've got everyone in our team here. There's Caleb is 11, Ethan is 10, one is Miles, there's Donovan four, they're all here. 
They're putting all their efforts into keeping these guys from getting away. Because if they get away, Lakeside could take the first match of the game. Oh boy, there we go. So it looks like they killed us before we could get uh, our wool. Oh man, that Lakeside just made a good move and took out one of our guys. There's two Lakesides there and they're back in the wool room. See, here's what happens. When you go into the other team's wool room, they can't go in there. You are totally safe in there. It looks like they can shoot arrows and maybe hit you, but they can't go in, so they have to wait till you come out. Oh man, look at that. They are dominating right there. Lakeside, well played. Oh my goodness, they're making their way back to their wool room. This could be it for Chimicum if Lakeside makes it with their wool. And they're, look at them, they're full of arrows. All right. So can Chimicum stop Lakeside from capturing and placing the wool? Well, it looks like Lakeside is going to make it. If he doesn't get stopped, he will win this match. And who is it? That's Heat. Heat X17 is coming in for the win for Lakeside, and he did it. Whoa. So Lakeside takes the first uh, game. All right. Fantastic. That was pretty fast, too. I mean, it only took about five minutes. All right, let's see what map they want next. So now that uh, first match goes to them, all they got to do is win the second one. Everybody's being real nice. Um, so we'll see what they come up with. Uh, usually the home team picks the first map. The other team picks the second map. And then um, the th if it goes into, you know, if it's tied one to one, the third match or map is always golden drop. So they picked Golden Drought. Just want to make sure I'm getting it right. Okay, so they want Golden Drought. So I'm going to cycle to Golden Drought next. All right. Cycle into... All right, so if we want to stay in this game, we have to win the uh, second match. If Lakeside wins this one... It's over for Chimicum. Okay. So this is Golden Drought, right? Yep, this is Golden Drought. Alright. Now I gotta start putting players in their team, so let's get this right. an observer so I am not in a team okay let's start with CSD1 that's miles in team blue let's go to 10 Ethan in team blue let's go for three Cheyenne in team blue let's go for Donovan, number four, in Team Blue. And then we're going to do Caleb. That's Minecraft 11, in Team Blue. Now let's put their people in Team Red. Let's see. Commander Mitten. So we got... B.B. Baker. So I'm going to call that one Baker. I have such a hard time reading the nicknames. Okay, so that's Baker. I think I put Heat already. I don't remember. Alright, let's see who I've done. 
So I've got A Wall, Baker, Commander Mitten, Minecraft 8, and Ran. Alright, so we already have. Let's. Let's take Minecraft 8, make him an observer. Adrian's not playing today. And then we got Heat X. So I hadn't done Heat X. Alright, Heat X go into red so they don't panic. Alright, so we got A Wall. Baker, Commander Mitten, Heat X17, and Random Callum in red. And then we've got 1, 10, 3, yep, 8 and 9. Alright, we are ready to begin. Okay, alias, um, blue, Chimicum, and team alias red, Lakeside A. Okay, now I'm ready. I just needed to make it look good. So there we have it. All right, let's start this game in 20 seconds. Yeah, Lakeside's all ready to go. They want to keep that momentum going. All right, so we've got Miles, Ethan, Cheyenne, Donovan, and Caleb versus AWOL, Baker, Commander Mitten, Heat, and Random uh, for Lakeside A for match two of the game of the century. All right, here we go. So this time, Chimicum is going after the purple wool. So they're in the green again. And Lakeside's coming for the green. All right. Minecraft 4 left the game. Where's Donovan? Don't do that to us. Oh, my goodness. Where's Donovan? Where's Donovan? Can I replace him with somebody? Okay, I'm gonna replace with nine. Okay, you're in. Okay, I did a last minute sub because we lost Donovan. I want to keep it fair, five to five. So I did a last minute substitution because we lost one of our players. I don't know what happened. Could be internet issues. Told them with their laptops at home, make sure they've got a charger. So Donovan is out. He's out of the game and Lakeside is not wasting any time. They are battling for the win. All right, Lakeside already has our bull. This is it. This could be the end of the game right here if Lakeside makes it back. That that mistake there could have cost us the game. But hey, it's all a learning experience, and that's what we're here for. Looks like they're coming in for the win. All right. I think they're coming in for the win here. All right, so here we go. Is that uh, Heat X again? I think, yep. Heat X capped it twice. It's over. It's over, folks. Lakeside A has beaten us two games to zero. Ah. All right, that's it. All right, game over. That's uh, two out of three. Good experience, guys. Every time we play, it's good learning experience. Nope, oh, whoever wins two, wins the game. Yeah, and they're gone. <laughs> they're going. So, uh, all right. Well. I think, uh, no matter how many games you win or lost, everyone's going to the playoffs, so we still have chances. Um, we're going to take a break uh, for a formal team meeting next Wednesday because, you know, it's right before the holidays. Yeah. You got Thanksgiving. It's an early release day. And we don't know if we're coming back to school Monday or if tomorrow's the last day. I mean, you guys in cohort A, did you hear the news? Uh, yeah. So the superintendent has, um, because of the rising 
number of COVID cases. Um, we're going to go back to full remote, everybody, five days a week. We don't know if Monday is going to be your last day or if Tuesday was your last day. So stay tuned to hear about that. The superintendent will know by Saturday or Friday night. But, uh, I have a question. So what's the stay on a plane? I'm probably going to go.